The social media platform Twitter is now in the hands of the world's richest person, with questions over whether its new owner will loosen regulations covering hate speech and misinformation. Elon Musk completely completed the takeover, which is worth more than £38 billion, and swiftly began making changes at the company. A number of top executives have reportedly been fired. On sealing the deal, Mr Musk tweeted, let the good times roll. He has said previously that he believes in what he calls absolute free speech. And today Donald Trump, who's banned from the platform, said Twitter was back in sane hands. But this evening, Elon Musk also announced the setting up of a new council with widely diverse viewpoints to moderate Twitter posts. This report is from our technology editor, Zoe Kleinman. Elon Musk. To his many fans, one of the most innovative and influential people in the world. He's certainly the richest. He made his money with PayPal and he's now the boss of the electric car firm Tesla. He also owns rocket maker SpaceX and his Starlink satellite network provides internet access around the world. And now he adds to his portfolio Twitter, the small but mighty social network. Let that sink in, he said, walking into Twitter HQ, carrying, yes, a sink. <laughs> Elon Musk is a prolific tweeter with more than 110 million followers. He's now calling himself Chief Twit. The bird is freed, he tweeted, followed later by let the good times roll. He's just promised to form a moderation council to oversee decisions about banned accounts and controversial content. Nothing will be decided before it meets, he said. It's not known when that will be. Musk has strong views about free speech. If he starts to see that a certain type of free speech environment, e.g. one where anything goes, might become a hellscape, as he said, um, and that might see people leave, in which case advertisers who are paying to be on the site might get concerned because there'll be fewer eyeballs looking at their ads. All of this matters because Twitter's become a place where world leaders, politicians and opinion formers go to share their views. It's kind of a direct line between the decision makers and us, those they represent. Elon Musk thinks we need a digital town square, a community space for public discussion. And Twitter, he argues, is it. Several top execs have already been sacked. And for those who remain, they need to know Musk means business. I suspect they'll want to get some degree of certainty that Elon Musk isn't going to be running it this like he runs his Twitter account. His Twitter account is full of memes and jokes. People want a degree of seriousness. They consider this a, a really important product in the world. There's lots of speculation about whether Musk's takeover will mean the return of the most high-profile person on Twitter's banned list, former US President Donald Trump. One for the Moderation Council, but some investors are known to be keen. To really be a truly free platform, I know everybody hates Donald Trump, including me, but free speech is about many things we don't like. And many of the things Trump might say might actually be really harmful to Trump. So I think this sort of fear of letting people on the platform is exactly why we need to protect speech. Oh, great shot. Speaking to Fox News, Donald Trump, of course, had his own view. He wished Elon Musk lots of luck, but said Twitter couldn't succeed without him. Zoe Kleinman, BBC News. Well, our North America technology reporter James Clayton joins us now from outside Twitter's headquarters. And James, any indication of how Twitter might change now? Yeah, well, he's tweeted saying that there's going to be a new council full of diverse voices and they will decide whether Donald Trump is allowed back onto the platform. Now, that's very different to what Elon Musk said just a few months ago. He said that he would be allowed onto the platform. Now he's saying someone else is going to decide. It's all a little bit confusing. And I think what this really speaks to is Elon Musk knows that Twitter's revenue in this place behind me is almost entirely dependent on advertising dollars. And if, they're, if, they're, if adverts or advertisers don't want to put uh, their ads next to hate speech and disinformation, he knows that. So he can say all of these things before he owns Twitter. But when he actually, uh, actually has decided that he's going to buy Twitter, he now, he's now going to go, well, actually, I need to make money. I need to make uh, sure investors are happy. So that's what we're seeing. So in the short term, I don't think you're going to see that much of a change. It is still possible that Donald Trump is allowed back. But people who are worried that Twitter was suddenly going to become a hellscape, everything we're hearing from Elon Musk at the moment would suggest that that's not going to be the case.